through here we have a Stuart Warner. Unfortunately, this is not in the best shape. It's got some like weird stuff going on here. So I think this set is just that, that's the condition. Um, push buttons, magic keyboard. It's not just a regular keyboard, it's a magic keyboard. Um, it's kind of cool looking, it's a little tombstone. Uh, unusual, the Bakelite has got a pattern in it. It's like a transfer of some sort. And here we have a very simple chassis. Five, one, two, three, four, five tubes. Stuart Warner. And you got a speaker that plugs in separately, so we can unplug that to work on it. That'll be nice. Make things easier. Looks like there's a control here. I don't know what that's for. Leave it the way it was. Let's get this apart, see what we're dealing with. So here's the chassis. It's really simple. Let's, I don't know. I have not looked underneath it yet, so we are going to do this together. Let's take a look. Will it be repaired at some point or will it be original? Oops, it doesn't even want to stay up. That's what, that's what it'll be. Uh, okay, that capacitor's new. When I say new, I don't mean new, but newer. Those electrolytics are definitely been replaced. That piece of tape is new. This is a very simple radio. A lot of space to work, that's nice. So I don't know what the deal is with this push button selector thing. I guess you push one for AM and one, I don't know. No, we'll see, I guess. Uh, so the full story on this is that uh, it was powered up when I bought it. Um, they, well, they powered it up, they insisted on showing me that lit up. So that tells you, I mean, I looked at, there's no transformer, so I wasn't really worried about it. Uh, what it does have is it does have a field coil speaker, which, you know, it's just as well that they powered it up, I guess, because I know that the field coil works because it did make some noise. It just wasn't getting any, any, any reception. So that could be so many different things. So I guess what we'll do is we'll um, clean it off a little better and then we will um, take a look at the underside, probably using these new capacitors. So here's the underside of the Stuart Warner. I'm actually thinking these silver caps might be original. I think the only thing changed is potentially this yellow one. That's it. The rest of it looks original. Before we do anything else, we're going to clean this. And the volume control. Trying to prevent issues. Before we even get anywhere. So basically the easiest thing to do here is probably the... Uh, do we do electrolytics first? I don't know. I can change this one easily. That's right there. The others are kind of buried. I mean, this chassis is kind of deep. And even though there's a lot of space, they are kind of buried, so that's going to be a little more annoying. But nothing really inaccessible. Everything's kind of there. Okay, I'm going to re I'm recapping here. I've got most of this done. It's actually not that bad to work on. Um, I have this 
down here. It's a paper cap in a plastic shell. And I just pull this one out. This is a .2. It's going from the B- minus to ground. It's a big value. Uh, I might try putting a lower value in it. Sometimes that will work, sometimes it won't. But I can give it a try and see what happens. So I lied. This uh, black thing is actually a resistor. So I'm glad I didn't start pulling it out and realizing it, <laughs> it was not the right uh, uh, thing. Um, so it's a resistor and it uh, does not need to be replaced. So I have a couple of these flexible resistors. Sometimes they go out of tolerance. That's a potential problem. Um, yeah, I mean, basically at this point we can power it up and see what it does. I'm going to do a little more cleaning of the, like the tube sockets and stuff. All right, let's bring it up on the Variac. I'll turn this on. And uh, you can see my casualty list over there. It's 20 volts. Oh, I see. We're 25 volts. We're 35 volts. Sit for a minute. 45 volts. Just let it sit for a few minutes. 60. Usually around 75, 80 volts, I start seeing something, some life. At 65. See the tubes glowing. That's good. Wait, I hear something. Sounds this good. Try a um, quick alignment of the antenna just to. Fix the speaker. That's what I want to know. When are they going to listen? So here's the that explore garnishment asset seat. Not a way to add housing that's not just condo upon condo. This is the store wire. That would be great. Thanks. My name's Danny Stover. This 
<laughs> that is Canada. This is content producer Glenn Bergonia bringing you another installment of Dumb Questions. Can't believe it because the weather is terrible. It's pouring rain. Supposed to have a big storm, yet this radio seems to pick up all these stations with no issue. We're going to be looking into why Flair Airlines has had quantity. Not much down there. I have desires that arise in me. I'm going to follow them. All the religious stations come in. And then the old police band over here, which doesn't come in anymore. That is ultimately the truth. NJIT, New Jersey Institute of Technology. For some reason, this haze. I talk with Republican Senator Bill Hardy on the cause and response to the failure of Silicon Valley Bank. Silicon Valley Bank back in 2019 with a 70 billion dollar bank. I, I it's kind of too bad because otherwise it's in really good shape. I mean, this design here is like perfect. Yeah. Yes, a big storm. Well, if we're going to get much, all this will begin to wind down tomorrow night. Wednesday, it'll still be windy, but highs in the mid-40s. Thursday, a bit more tranquil and 54. You have presets down here. Which I did. I did set to something, but... They don't, they don't seem to want to cooperate, so who knows. Whatever. For breakfast, lunch, and dinner, Hatfield anyway. Pork brings flavor to the table the whole family will enjoy and keep you moving through the day. With over 24 I really do like the design and the small size of it for a tombstone. Explore endless.